Grove Hydrogen is a company that's been set up to focus on making sustainable vehicles. The focus for us is using hydrogen. We believe that hydrogen offers a very good way of offering long distance travel, which can be very quickly refilled. So what it means is that we've got the opportunity to give the customer the chance to experience the lifestyle that they've always had with petrol vehicles, but do it in a clean vehicle. We offer a different alternative. What we can do with our vehicles is offer a much longer distance of travel than most of the battery vehicles. The cars behind me are capable of travel up to 1,200 kilometres, in some cases beyond, at least looking at the NEDC cycle. So the idea of the cars is that they can offer a really interesting opportunity for people to travel long distances, which is quite different to a lot of the electric vehicles. It offers a balance between um, having a clean car and then being able to use those, those longer distances. What the important thing about that is, of course, is that we give an alternative. So in a world where things become less focused on petrol, we have the opportunity to have electric vehicles which have their own purpose, which is where they may be better in smaller cities and so on. And we offer the opportunity to extend the range uh, with another vehicle. But as well as that, our vehicle is technically an electric vehicle as well. So we're using kinetic energy and so on. So we operate a hybrid system. So it works in both ways. Uh, that we do offer electric travel. We're not plug-in, but we use kinetic energy. But then we have hydrogen to make sure that the car can travel at a decent distance. I and mean, what we've tried to achieve is respecting the lifestyle of the customer by giving them the chance to have a vehicle that can be on the road again very quickly when it needs to be refilled and then the opportunity to travel a decent distance with that vehicle. And that's what we think is the advantage that we've got with hydrogen. From an infrastructure point of view, the logic that we have, our company is, we have a partner company which is also a producer of hydrogen in part of our, our larger group. So the idea there is that they actually started the car company with the idea that we would become the user of their hydrogen with the intention that by having us operational, we're able to then generate enough business for them to generate an infrastructure. So part of our program is to go city by city around China and the rest of the world together with an infrastructure program where we launch our vehicles and there are more vehicles than what you see behind us. There are vehicles which will suit more of a fleet operation which allows us to focus on certain areas. Uh, we've announced already our first fleet deal for over 10,000 cars which allows us to put certain number of vehicles in certain places, which allows us to justify the infrastructure. The infrastructure then goes out and this enables the customers in those cities, because we go city by city, to then enjoy the freedom of having multiple places in their city where they can fill up. So this is the big advantage that we have, particularly here in China, because the city structure is so powerful, we're able to really grow that business very fast. Well, there are new models that are coming. There's a number of different vehicles that will be hitting the market very quickly um, over the next two to three years. Uh, we, of course, have a plan to go out to multiple cities around China, which will come very quickly. Uh, but then what happens is from 2000 and uh, from already from 2020, we already have some export markets. So we've announced Australia and New Zealand, where there are aggressive plans in place for hydrogen infrastructure. Uh, and then we're also announcing some more markets very shortly.